Hello, what is up, YouTubers? It's your boy, NCSU Man, bringing you another video today. And today, I'm giving you guys the first installment of a new series called MLG Tips and Tricks, where I tell you guys how to do better at game battles and MLG matches. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. So this first episode is going to be based on doubles, mainly because I've been playing it a lot lately, and I just want to give you guys the information while it's fresh on my mind. So anyway, this first tips that I have, these first tips that I have are kind of simple no-brainers, but the first one that I have is find a good teammate. Somebody that you play well with and get along with, you know, different players have different play styles. So you need to find one that complements your play style and somebody that thinks just like you almost. You know, if you're got if you guys are on a different page with each other and aren't really playing together, then you're not going to be able to beat those teams that are really organized and know what they're doing and are really experienced in playing together. You know, they've probably played over 100 matches together, you know. You have to have something to sort of counteract that chemistry. So you need that chemistry with your teammate as well. So finding a good teammate is probably the most important thing about this entire tips and tricks that I'm about to bring you guys. You know, if you don't have a good teammate, then it's basically a 1v2 or a 1v1v2. You know, if you guys are always arguing, then it's not going to work well. And coming from Nade Shot himself, if a teammate isn't working out within the first week, then it probably isn't ever going to work out. So rotate through players often to try to find out who you're going to play with, especially at the beginning of a game. And the next tip that I have is make sure you know the maps and make sure your teammates know where you're calling out when you um, make a call out. If, you're, if you see an enemy and you say they're just over there behind that rock and there's over 100 rocks probably on the map, then that's not going to be a good call out and more than likely it's not going to help him out too much uh, unless he's just like looking blatantly at the rock and he's like oh yeah that rock right in front of me it's not going to work out and you can't just say something that I've learned is you can't just say always back map because back map is huge guys I know probably a lot of you guys do this but back map is huge or side of the map right side of the map that is huge you know they could be sitting in a corner for all we know so you know, it's good for, to give general direction, but don't just say their back map unless you sort of know an, a region that they're in. Like, not just back map, but like back right map. You know, that kind of corners it off. So give us, be as specific as possible when you're giving out, giving call outs out. And, you know, try to go through with your teammate in private match and go through different areas of the map and come up with names for it. You know, a lot of those are universal throughout the community. You could probably watch YouTube videos, but if you guys come up with your own callouts, then that's probably just as good, if not better, because, you know, it makes more sense to you guys. So go through your t with your team and in private match, you know, just go through every map that could possibly be in the rotation that you play and come up with callouts for it, you know. it's It gives you guys a really good advantage when you know where the enemies are on the map so if you guys can just kind of spot them you know you guys can pinch together and that's another thing you need to you need to sort of learn when you guys should pinch together and play together or when you guys can go off separately and you need to be able to trust your teammate to go off and without you and not die and maybe even pick a few kills you know get a double kill and end the round you need to be able to trust your teammate to do that from time to time you know you can't expect him to do it all the time because sometimes he gets double teamed or they're both shooting at him you know but um, on occasion you need to be able to trust your teammate to go so you don't have to be right there with him and almost babysit him and that's nice because you know me and Aaron when we first started out our doubles team we we were those players that you could not trust to go out both of us were so it was very hard for us to get wins but we're developing now and we're starting to win more and more matches like last night we only lost two maps which um, which was really good for us. You know, we're proud of that. We we probably go about, depending on how long we play, we probably, on average, go about 5-1 and one every night that we play. You know, we don't play too many matches a night, but we'll usually play around 6, and we'll only, use, we'll only average losing like 1 or 2. So anyway, um, the next tip that I have 
is learn what class is best for you. Now, this is speaking mainly for guns, but it also brings in perks with this new, um, with this system that we have for like pick 13 or pick 10. Uh, I forget which one it is. I think it's pick 13 for, or it's pick 10 for Black Ops 3. Excuse me. Sorry about that. But anyway, on this pick 10 system, you need to sort of know what you can sacrifice and get a good class. So, Sometimes, like for example, sometimes I use flak jacket on this game, but if I'm wanting to run an extra attachment, I'll take flak jacket off and put on that attachment, or sometimes I want to use a tactical grenade, so I'll take it off for that. You know, switch up your classes a little bit, find what's good for you. You know, I suggest using long barrel on SMGs and sometimes even on assault rifles, but. I, I do not like to go without long barrel on my uh, VMP mainly because it's an SMG already and if you run into an assault rifle you need to have a good chance at getting the kill at medium to long range. So throwing on that long barrel just adds to your chances when you run into somebody that is, is at medium to long range and you can also pick up those short range kills with it as well. Anyway. The next, that leads me right into the next tip, which is find which gun to use. You know, there's usually about two guns in each uh, set, assault rifles and SMGs, that are going to be dominant in the game. Like on this game, it's usually the VMP or the Vesper. That's what most people use on SMGs, and uh, it's usually the MA or Man of War for the assault rifles. So finding which gun is good for you um, only helps you out even more. You know, like I like to use the M8 uh, mainly because I like to sit back with the assault rifles and just get picks. So the M8 is more accurate; it gets more damage. But if you're good at rushing with assault rifles, go with the Man of War, or maybe even another assault rifle that you are comfortable using. But it's all about you. You need to find what's good for you and find it fast. That way, your team can start winning and winning on a consistent basis. So play around with your attachments, play around with your perks and tactical grenades, even lethal grenades, and find what's working for you. Find some strategies. Go through it with teammates. You know, you need to get field, you need to field test these strategies. So, you know, maybe even make a separate team that you don't care how you do on just to sort of practice these new strategies and techniques that you use. But anyway, comment down below if you guys have any tips that you want me to try giving you guys and I can test them out and bring them to you guys. I can even bring you guys video footage of it. Also, make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the video and if you're new, drop a subscribe and it's been your boy NC and I'm out. Peace. Look at that 6-1 victory, guys. Woo! Let's go. Aaron coming in clutch with the double kills. Check him out in the description as well.